you're going to start with your quilt laid out, and you're going to roll each side. Um, this will help the bulk through the side of the machine if you keep it rolled, and it gives you something to grip onto when you're sewing. I also fold up the end of the quilt that's going to be in my lap just a couple of times so you have control over the bulk. And then you can stick the quilt into the machine, and you're going to line up the side of the presser foot with your seam and you're going to start a little bit outside the edge and you can go ahead and lower your presser foot and then what I do is just stitch right along the seam and I go fairly slow there's no reason to be in a hurry and as I'm dealing with the bulk of the quilt back here I like to keep it under my chin if you let the bulk of the quilt lay down in your lap, it's going to put weight on your stitch and you'll start to notice that your stitches get really short. And so you want to keep the weight up off of your lap and I just find it's easier if I put it in my chain or hold on to it um, to support it. And then you're just going to guide the side all the way along your seam and just keep going. And then let some of the quilt out and then keep going. Okay, if you are working in a space like me and you have the wall behind you, you're going to want to make sure that when the quilt touches the wall that you go ahead and turn it. Otherwise the same thing will happen. It'll press against the quilt and cause your stitches to get really short. And I'm just going to continue to keep going. stopping and adjusting as I need to. When you get to the end, you'll notice that it wants to pucker up like this. So it's probably best if you take your hands and you just separate it so that you make sure you get a straight stitch and then just go all the way to the end. Now sew all the way past, and then you can trim your thread. What I do next is you're going to actually start on the opposite side. So you're going to flip your quilt around and load it the same way. And the reason I do this is because that way when you're sewing, the three layers don't shift. Um, they kind of evens it out, and you don't end up with shifting layers. So I'm going to fold it up just like I did before, and continue to stitch all the way down the seam until you get to the end.